It was not long before Chosen sent reinforcements to the remaining defenders at topside. Two soldiers, including the 2nd platoon leader, ran between the bazaar and hotel. They reached the observation post safely, but were almost immediately killed along with the topside defender while attempting to set up a defensive position. By this time, five of the original nine members of the OP garrison remained alive, but only two were able to engage several insurgents who had penetrated the perimeter wire and were only feet from the soldiers. Running out of ammunition, one paratrooper found a light anti-tank weapon, which he fired before he and other survivors abandoned the OP and moved down to the first squad's traffic control point. Unbeknownst to the paratroopers, they had left a soldier at OP topside. He managed to scrounge up an M203 grenade launcher and began to lob rounds into the dead space north of the observation post. After expending all his rounds, he contacted the command post on his Ford Observer radio and informed them that the OP was going to fall if reinforcements weren't sent. 